Those trapped teens have people watching here in the metro. Globally, in fact, Fox 4 Sean McDowell checked in with some diving experts as well as child psychologists to see ahead for the rescued kids, Sean. They're breaking all new ground. That's what we're hearing here in Overland Park as dive rescue specialists from the Overland Park Police Department look overseas, saying the mission to save the 12 Thai soccer players and their coach from a flooded underwater cave would alarm even experienced dive rescue specialists. You don't know what the visibility is going to be. Diving into murky water is part of the profession for Overland Park Police Sergeants Tom Smith and Roger Peshek. They lead this department's dive team with nearly 60 years of police experience experience between them. Both local divers say the rescuers in Thailand will have to teach inexperienced divers to use scuba deer. That's a process that usually takes months of training. As humans, we're not supposed to breathe underwater, so just getting a, a, a person to, to inhale um, underwater at times can be can be very difficult. These police divers are trained for lakes and rivers, but not caves. Uh, I can't even imagine going into a cave that's two miles back and trying to stay in communication, that, that'd be something that I can't even fathom. As of Monday evening, four of the kids and their coach are still in that cave, awaiting their chance to be rescued. However, being stuck in a dangerous place for two weeks can have lasting effects. It really doesn't matter. Trauma's the same everywhere. Susan Panay's background is in child psychology. She's the director of a special trauma program at the Crittenden Center, where kids with varying degrees of emotional needs come for care. It really only takes one caring adult to make a difference for a child who's experienced a trauma. So remaining calm yourself, listening, staying calm no matter what you hear from the child. These police divers say cave diving is especially scary because you can't resurface easily. Sergeant Smith told me, for example, in a lake, if you run out of air, you just rise up to the top. In a cave, there's nowhere to go and you're done for. Sean McDowell, Fox 4 News. The psychologist Say children who've experienced trauma can experience nightmares, difficulty in school, and loss of sleep and appetite long after their trauma.